looking at the recent charts for SPY, the SPDRS and P 500 ETF trust, we can gather some insights into its short term future. Let's dive into what each of the key charts tells us and how that impacts the outlook for SPY. The three month candlestick chart presents a consistent upward price movement for SPY, supported by increasing volume as prices approach recent highs. This increased volume reflects growing interest among buyers, confirming the strength of the uptrend. The consistent upward trajectory also shows that SPY has been well supported by buyers, particularly near the 50-day simple moving average. This area has acted as a firm support level, especially around $570, which SPY has bounced off multiple times. Such behavior is characteristic of a bullish market that keeps finding support and pushing higher. Analyzing the Bollinger Bands chart, it is evident that the price of SPY has remained near the upper band for much of the time. The proximity to the upper band suggests strong momentum. When prices hover near the top band, it often indicates that the bulls are in control, driving prices upwards with conviction. The absence of significant movement below the middle band reinforces the strength of this bullish trend, suggesting that dips are being bought and there is little inclination for a deeper correction. The stochastic oscillator provides a slightly different perspective. The lines on this chart have frequently entered overbought territory, suggesting that SPY's price might be overheated. While being in the overbought zone doesn't necessarily mean a sharp decline is imminent. It does signal that there could be short-term pullbacks as investors take profits. This behavior is typical in a bull market where the price moves up rapidly, takes a breather, and then continues its ascent. Frequent short-term corrections indicated by the stochastic lines crossing above and below each other are likely to keep happening as the market digests the recent gains. The MACD moving average convergence divergence chart adds more nuance to our understanding of SPY's momentum. Throughout the chart, the MACD line remains mostly above the signal line, highlighting a positive trend. This indicates that the bulls have maintained their grip on the market. However, the MACD also exhibits frequent fluctuations, suggesting that although the broader trend is positive, there are phases of uncertainty where momentum weakens slightly. This tells us that while the overall, the overall direction is upwards, the ride might be bumpy with moments of hesitation. Another momentum indicator, the Williams percent R, echoes some of the caution seen in the stochastic oscillator. Williams percent R frequently touches overbought levels, indicating that SPY is in a strong bullish phase, but also suggesting that the upward movement might be temporarily overstretched. When the indicator consistently remains near overbought, levels. It signals that prices could face resistance soon, as fewer buyers might be willing to enter the market at these high levels without a meaningful pullback. Speaking of support and resistance levels, the charts indicate clear areas to watch. The 570 level has emerged as a significant support level, reinforced by the 50-day moving average and the lower Bollinger Band which both converge around this zone. This confluence makes $570 a critical line in the sand for bulls. As long as SPY stays above this level, the overall uptrend should remain intact. On the other hand, resistance is visible near the $600 mark. The candlestick chart shows that price struggled to break through this level, with small pullbacks occurring when SPY approached this point the upper Bollinger Band aligning with the recent highs around $600 further strengthens this resistance area, suggesting it will take considerable buying power to push ASPY decisively beyond $600. The combination of these support and resistance levels, along with momentum indicators, paints a picture of a market that is bullish, but also facing some headwinds as it approaches higher levels. The trend is undeniably upwards and the buying interest at support levels 
indicates that investors are still willing to step in and buy the dips. However, the frequent signals of overbought conditions suggest that the market might need some time to consolidate its gains before making a sustained move above $600. Consolidation periods can be healthy for a market, allowing it to gather strength for the next leg up. If SPY can stay above $570 during any pullbacks, it would be a positive sign that the uptrend remains intact. Please like and subscribe. We'd very much appreciate it. Thanks.